Hello for guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making um, supoesi with coco samoa in it. So I'm gonna have to show you guys the ingredients, right? Okay. Ingredients is like this stuff here. Yeah. Don't look at me. <laughs> anyway, here's the ingredients. You're gonna need popo, that's essi. Uh, now the media. Uh, tapioca pearls, the seiko, gonna need cream, coco samoa, and a bit of sugar. Cause I think I think this is not as sweet, you know. So you're gonna need some raw sugar. I don't know if you guys use raw sugar or white sugar, but this is the sugar I prefer. So I'm gonna have to grate the coco. So that makes it, you know, all that little rock stuff? Yeah, I don't like those little stone stuff. So I like to grate it and put it into what I'm going to make today. So anyway, guys, here's the ingredients. And the pot to put it in. I'm not going to use uh, coconut cream today, just the uh, normal cream. So guys, you have to put in um, your seiko into the water, cold water, so you can soak it, right? It makes the cooking a lot, lot easier. I remember back in the days when my mom used to make me stir the seiko for our sofa, it took ages. But anyway, that was my part of the job for our breakfast, so... Yeah, I remember it was hard work. Anyway, I don't know, is that enough Seiko? I, I love, I love a lot of Seiko guys. Mm, I so I put more in there to save. Right. Well, half of the packet. So you put it in cold water and you let it sit there for a while to soften up to make cooking easier. Mm -hmm. How's everyone going? I know, I've done that mukbang by myself, right? And I thought, mm, yeah, why not? Hang out with you guys. So I'll put this aside, let it soak, it will puff up. And then you, like there's a lot of water here now, like. See? But then after, there's not gonna be any water. Yeah, it's gonna like. So guys, you're gonna have to peel this. Then I'll grate this after. So I want to peel this, get it chopped up, and then get it boiling, you know, straight away. So I've uh, got this potato peeler, very, very sharp and handy. So look how easy it is. Bang. These are really good for uh, peeling gullows too. I've tried that, uh, you know how the, you chop the can and what are those called? S. What are those? Oh, anyway, I don't know. Well, what's that the can? You know, you chop it up and then you scrape the... Oh, I used to remember what my dad used to um, tell us to go and get it, but I can't really remember what it's called now. Um, do you see? <laughs> I don't know. I know you guys, uh, some of you guys might not, not know it, like me, but I know there'll be some that know what it is so I would like to know I should ask my mom before I started my cooking guys listen I wash my hands twice so don't think that I didn't wash my hands because I did okay it's good to you know wash your hands before you eat wash your hands before you're cooking because ill if you don't you know you don't want to drink outside germs or whatever germs into your cooking so, yeah, this sort of looks pure. Mm, not really nice, but you can sort that out while you're dicing it up. I wonder if I'm going to need both essies. Whoa. Look at that. Yeah. I'm I remember my mum used to grow this when, we, when she was staying in Samoa for a little bit. Okay. And 
the SEC used to be the size of a rugby ball. Massive. And then uh, she would tell me to um, like catch it while she yank it up off the tree with her, uh, the long stick. So I will hold the the bag. You know the bag that's made from flax? Yeah. yeah. So she would tell me to, you know, to hold the bag while she yanked the, the AC down. And then as I was standing there looking up at the AC, she yelled at me, don't look up! I was wondering why. And she said, because of that uh, white liquid of the AC fall down into my eye, I'm going to be hollering like a baby. Mm -hmm. So, these are the little bits that I didn't peel properly. So I peel it up now. Like that. Anyway, so I'm going to be chopping it all up and then putting it into the pot. Yeah, because after it's boiled really good, then you have to um, like mush it up. Okay. You know who taught me how to make this? Uh, it was my niece, Marita. Yeah, she would um, do it and then blend it. You know, but I don't have a blender, so I just have to get the mashed potato um, masher and mash it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I probably won't even need both purples. I didn't even need a spoon. Oh, you can do it with this, you know. This is a good scrape out. Look. That's why this is so handy. Look at even scraping out more than the spoon would. I don't know if you guys grew up eating this as children, but tell you the truth, I've only had this a little time because I wasn't in Samoa too long growing up. But, you know, I remember my mum never used to put salt on hers, you know, and even though I like it, it was even better with, um, what you call, uh, bread, Where, when you have it with, you know, like buttered bread. See, back in the days I remember, eh, right, my poor folks, they went all that, you know, well off, so whatever can, can be found and done to feed children and the family, that's what all islanders did back then, eh? and still now. Eh? But in Samoa, they still depend on um, caring families outside to send, you know, help here and there. Mm, so that's the pawpaw -paw that I've chopped up. Now I'm going to put some water in it and boil it, guys. So we're going to have to boil that until it's really soft. 
Okay, really stuff. But for the time being, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna grate this uh, focus out more. Okay. I don't like the bing um, it's what, what's it called? Yeah, bing cook away. Mm, yeah. So I like to grate it. As long as you have the flavour in the grass. I love kokosamoa, but it's really, you know, quite <laughs> uncomfortable when I find those little stone things in it. Though. See guys, that's the um, the kokosamoa grated. It's like you know tea when it's in the in the tea bag. But anyway, I'm gonna put it inside the um, the pot to boil boil it together with the AC. Mm -hmm. Let the kokosamoa do its thing. See, it's been boiling for some time now, so. Sometimes means 10 minutes. <laughs> it's been boiling for 10 minutes, guys. So, it's not mushed up properly, but it will eventually get there. And then we're gonna uh, put the Seiko in, and then the cream, and a bit of sugar if it need be. I had a little taste of it. It wasn't, um, it had some sweetness to it, but not a whole lot, so. I probably will be putting sugar in. So I couldn't find the potato masher, guys. So I'll be having to do plan B and just mush it up with this. Because it's, you know, like cooking softly, mm -hmm, you can, you know, mush it up with this. If you like a chunky chunk chunk, then you leave some chunky chunks. But otherwise, nice to mush it all down. Because you're still going to have some. You know, you're still going to taste it. But those people that like chunk, you don't have to mush it all. Oh, looks mushy real good. Mm -hmm. And a cook of some was. I don't have to put that much in. But it's cabal. Cabal. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. That's how far I mushed it down. Yeah, I think that should be enough. No more mush mush. So I'm going to put. Um, some of the Seiko in. I don't think I'll put the whole lot, but uh, who knows? <laughs> I might pour, pour, pour. Yeah, I love the Seiko in it. Heaps of Seiko. Heaps of Seiko. More the better. More to the bate, hate. Ui, there you go. I'll leave half of this. <laughs> Come and have a look. Yeah, all right. Got a lot of psycho. Seems oh, oh. <laughs> look at that holy mess. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's what it looks like. But once it dissolves, you'll be going. Uh, where's the psycho gone? Yeah, lovely with heaps of psycho. Yeah, so guys, the the psycho is uh, cooked now. So I've had a taste of the the thing in the pot here and it's it's needing a bit of sugar guys i can't tell you how much i'm just guessing just by looking at it okay so i would say that amount say focus mainly amount slower boy 
yeah, I think that's a good amount. Yep, so you stir it. I stopped because it's making a bit of noise. Should have used a wooden spoon. Yeah. Ta da! I just rinsed the spoon. They won't be like what my spoon. Wait, yeah, yeah. They want to sell my pizza, you know? It's a uh, spoon sound control. <laughs> The seiko is now ready. I'll put in the sugar and now I'm going to put in the cream. I want to put half of this cream in. It's up to you if you want to put cream, coconut cream or a bit of both. I think a bit of both would be nice. But I'm listening to what my niece told me to do because it's only what. It's beautiful with cream. Be beautiful. Ooh, ooh, ah, look at it coming to life. Oh yeah. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> someone, someone commented to me and said, um, ooh, yeah. You know, Savage? Yeah, Macho, Macho Savage. He was my favourite. When he comes running out with his Indian gear with that long, Blondie brown hair, I think, ooh, yeah. Yeah, that's all. I just go, ooh, yeah, that's it. Doesn't mean anything. Just, ooh, yeah. But, yeah, he was cool, wasn't he? So, dropped a little tear when I heard my husband passed away. Oops, I mean, my boyfriend, oops, I mean. Yeah, he was a good-looking man. But you know who I, I liked also was um, Hulk Hogan. Remember when Elizabeth would always go and get Hulk Hogan to come out and save her husband from getting bashed? <laughs> and he comes running out with his t-shirt, ripping off that singlet. Oh, those were the good old days. Because sometimes when Elizabeth takes her time to go and Hulk, get Hulk Hogan, I'm calling out, go and get Hulk Hogan. <laughs> and then you'll come out and save the day. For one purple, this is a lot for one purple. So it's good to use up the whole, you know, cream. So you can get that beautiful, rich flavor. Mm. Don't forget guys, you must taste as you go, okay? Because then you'll know if it's really yum yum. Wait. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I need a little bit more sugar, guys. See, that's why you gotta taste it. Yeah, lava, lava. Yeah. Very, 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 very beautiful. This will be really nice because it's got the coco samoa. It was so dark before, but it's got a light now. There it is, guys. All done. Looking nice. There's some chunky bits in it, look. So it's time to sample it. Okay guys, I had a taste when I was tasting it and a good yum, it was yummy. Hey, it was yummy, okay guys? <laughs> but I've got to share it, share it. Yeah, nah. <laughs> Cheers guys. 
My glasses are fogging up. This is really nice. So thank you to my niece that taught me how to make this. <laughs> yeah, because I really love it when they her and her husband make it, eh? Marita and Givanga. Mm -hmm. So lovely. <laughs> It's just like how they made it. <laughs> mm. So yum. I remember my sister Flossie tried making this and it was watery. <laughs> so it's just, I had to say, <laughs> never taste the voice like that. It was so watery. But hey, uh, ten, ten for effort. <laughs> mm. That's really nice. Oh, <laughs> look at me in my own little board. Mm. Mm. And it's got a lot of psycho. You can really taste the coco samoa. Good to leave the chunky bits in. Just mm, 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 mm. nice sugar. Keep it up. Is chunky bits? Mm. Thanks for hanging out with me. You guys can try this and you can do it with coconut cream, cream, or without coco samoa. Pull it out, pull it out, let me see the FFI. Mm -mm. Mm. Thank you, God, for the food. Yeah, we're so blessed to have every day. But this is so good. Guys, I'll see you guys later. See you for my little Essie lap. Super Essie. So good. Bye. Take care, take care of each other, and don't forget, always give thanks every day. <laughs>